why do you really think he's the only man on the planet? We have to ask ourselves that question because there's a problem here, okay, darlings? Ladies, stop accepting the bare minimum and raise your standards. Hello my beautiful darlings, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're going to talk about your standards. I always try as much as possible to upgrade your confidence, to make you feel like an absolute catch, like you are the price, because you are. I think any relationship is a mirror of us is a mirror of what we project. We attract what we are. We attract the energy that we give to the world. So if you always attract the same type of men, people that hurt you, men that use you, that are narcissistic, that manipulate, that are mean, demeaning, not respectful, ask yourself what part of you is attracted to that behavior, to that particular behavior, because you in that way allow that type of behavior to be in your life. You allow that type of men to be with you and you allow yourself to date those type of men you have to study yourself your childhood maybe your parents how people treated you in the past to really figure out what is going on now why do you attract such bad people why are you so impressed by the bare minimum why do you feel like you don't deserve the princess the queen treatment why do you feel like your standards have to be so low why do you want the validation of others so much maybe you have a fear of being abandoned where did it start did you have in the past to prove your love to others did you have parents that were not showing love to you that were avoidant that you have to prove your value to them Maybe that's where it comes from. A man in your life being emotionally available, so now you're completely attracted to emotionally unavailable men. People mostly are not attracted to what makes them happy. They're attracted to what is familiar to them. So if you want to know more about upgrading your standards, keep on watching. But first, just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content, I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, seduction, dating, and anything to make you become a highly feminine lady and to upgrade your confidence, feel free to on the channel the link is down below and also follow me on my instagram people are really attracted to what is familiar to them so if you are familiar and if you're used to bad behavior you're going to be attracted to bad people so if you are used to bad behavior subconsciously you will be attracted to that if you have some men that give you the bare minimum most of the time you want to blame them you want to blame others why is he giving me the bare minimum because I want more. I want the princess treatment that I see other women having. I want all of that. But the question that you really have to ask yourself, my darlings, is what is inside of you that allow them to treat you that way? What is inside of you that think that maybe you don't deserve that? Maybe subconsciously you think you don't deserve that type of treatment. Maybe subconsciously you think well, you know, he's giving me the bare minimum, but that's what I deserve. When you have a healthy view of relationships, maybe you have somebody treating you badly one time, but you won't allow them to treat you badly for years and years. You will see the red flags and then you will walk away. But when this type of behavior is attractive to you, when this type of mistreatment, when somebody is mistreating you, it is becoming attracted to you it's really not a good sign so how to have high standards how to have boundaries and, and how to really upgrade your love life and your life in general and your relationships through that because we always say have high standards and really don't allow people to mistreat you and have boundaries but what does that mean so i would say first of all make a list write it down you have to make a love list make a love list of what you are looking for in a man Okay, what are the qualities that you're looking for in a man? Make a list of the boundaries, lists that are non-negotiable. I want a man that is respectful. I want a man that is masculine. I want a man that is have a provider mindset. I want a man that is protective towards me, that pay attention to me, that compliments me and never criticize me. And then you date multiple people. You make sure they have what you want in your list and you see who is going to be the winner, like in The Bachelor. You have to be ready to let go of people. What one man is not willing to give you, another one will. One man's, your standards are too high, is another man, you're exactly what I'm looking for. Or maybe he's even gonna say, that's it, that's all you want? I'm gonna spoil you. Maybe even a thousand other men will. There's 3.5 billion men on the planet, you think that there's not another man that can give you what you want? Ladies, you think he's the only man on the planet? Why do you really think he's the only man on the planet? We have to 
ask yourself that question because there's a problem here okay darlings why are you obsessed with him like that you shouldn't be obsessed with somebody that doesn't even treat you right he's giving you the bare minimum you should be obsessed with a guy that gives you a lot never settle really don't settle don't settle for the bare minimum you will find that person it's all about intentions and how you look for things because if you look in the wrong places if you always lose your time with losers obviously you're not gonna find him the more picky you are and the quicker you eliminate the people that are not meant for you and the quicker you're going to find your prince charming so it's all about having standards and keeping these firm standards and really not craving just for the attention of one man being okay with being alone for now enjoy your own company have an abundance mindset of thinking there's so many opportunities there's so much happiness coming for me there's so many men that would be so lucky to have me that would die to be with me have the mentality of the femme fatale you know and i know how it is ladies you sometimes have some narcissists that use some manipulation tactic to make you addicted to them for example they make you believe that you are the best woman in the world they give you so many compliments they make you feel so good about yourself you feel incredible you feel invincible you feel like wow a supermodel shower you with compliments with gifts and they love bombing you <laughs> but then boom suddenly nothing suddenly they ghost you or suddenly they start to be a little bit demeaning start suddenly they start to criticize you a little bit putting you down and then all of that becomes like a drug you became addicted to that type of behavior to that type of high of just wow all the attention and the compliments that he gave me and make me feel so good you became addicted to that but then now he doesn't give you it anymore and he on the contrary he criticizes you so you feel really really down you want to be like it was in the beginning so you feel like oh what did i do wrong i did something wrong right but it's not the case my darlings he's manipulating you be careful about that that's when also you have some women accepting bad behaviors from people not even the bare minimum in that case that's not even the bare minimum that's just bad behavior that's lower <laughs> so then you will accept his bad behavior of being mean demeaning like narcissistic behavior like classic narcissistic type of behavior and you will always want to have what you had in the beginning which is the perfect time where he was pretending to be perfect and making you feel good but actually he revealed his mask so in that case you have to be aware of those manipulation tactics and not let you convince that if this is how you feel because he just tried to manipulate you with your emotions he tried to play with it i want you to be a little bit more detached and detach yourself from people and remind yourself of your power as a woman remind yourself of your qualities remind yourself of what you bring to the table remind yourself of the number of men that would kill to be with you and the fact that we are the price we're the most demanded thing on the planet and i see it most of the time i see women have no problem being single taking care of themselves they have less trouble being single than men i see men they they cannot be alone they have to jump from relationship to relationship i'm not i don't mean all men but it's just they need the validation of a woman you have to be detached of needing the validation of a man in your life okay i know it's always nice to have the validation and the love of someone but it's so much better to be alone than to be with somebody that is going to treat you badly or not even badly that is not giving you what you want the bare minimum ladies is like texting you calling you making sure you're right going out with you on dates that's also the bare minimum because to build a relationship you need to spend time and energy with a person he needs to make time for you so if he doesn't make time for you he doesn't even give you the bare minimum okay so calling you seeing how you are and seeing you in real life also inviting you to a, a nice restaurant um, courting you nicely even giving you flowers i would say is the bare minimum even though 
we appreciate it a lot as a woman. We're like, wow, I love it. Like I always love flowers, but I think it's part of the courtship. So never be impressed too much by the bare minimum when he texts you, when he calls you, when he spends time with you and he wants to see you on a date, that's the bare minimum. When he wants to see you to Netflix and chill at his house or he wants to make no efforts, that is not even the bare minimum. That's just like way lower and you should never accept those type of dates. Don't give him all the benefits of a girlfriend and of a wife if you're not his girlfriend or his wife. Men value what they put effort into. Men are competitors. And I think it's even a human thing. We value the things that we work for. They want to earn what they want, okay? And they test you. Ladies, be careful, they test you. If you give him everything that he wants for free, if you have no boundaries, nothing, no standards, and you give him everything, all the rewards, immediately, for free, why would he want to do more for you? He got everything for free, it's so easy. And he will not value it as much. If you go to a store and they give you a bag for free like that, how are you gonna treat that bag? Compared to another bag that you really work to have, and that you save all your money to buy. You buy you you bought a beautiful Chanel bag and you saved all your money and you worked for a year to have it and you put so much effort into that bag. How are you gonna treat that bag compared to the bag that you got for free? It's not the same, right? Because of the efforts. It's not necessarily because of the money, but because of the efforts that you put it into. If you just give him everything, you ignore other men, you give him intimacy, you cook for him, you even live with him without any form of commitment, why would he want to upgrade all of that? Why would he want to propose to you if he has everything for free? Why would he want to make him his girlfriend if he already has what he wants? Okay, I would say not sleeping with somebody until you have the commitment that you want. Not giving your body, which is extremely precious, before having the commitment that you want. Before feeling like he is trustworthy, you can trust him, you feel comfortable with him, and you feel safe. Safety is so important for us as women. That's when we flourish in our feminine energy is when we feel safe. Nobody wants something that is too easy to have. Let him put efforts into you, darlings. That's when you are upgrading and you don't have the bare minimum and you have high standards. It's when you let him prove himself to you. I always say that, but that's, that's because it's so important. It's when you have that mentality that you will have all the princess treatment. And most women don't have that mentality. So you will be different and he will also take you more seriously. Promising you many things and talking is really cheap, ladies. Action speaks louder than words. Leave your options open until you are committed. Otherwise, your brain will start to find excuses for him, you know, because your brain wants you to like him, especially the more time we spend with the men, the more we're going to fall in love with him. And so if you don't see other men, you will start to imagine things in your head that are not even true and you will start to create a whole fantasy around him and you will make him perfect in your head. And I want you to lose the fantasy. Really try to see him for who he is now and not what he could be, not what your relationship could be. Understand that it is a privilege to call me his girlfriend. It is a privilege to call you his girlfriend. You observe, you see the efforts that he does to court you and then you validate him afterwards if you like him, if you agree with all of that. But he is the one courting. I decide if I'm yours. Also, I would say write all the red flags that you see. It will really help you lose the fantasy that you could have in your head because then you will really see all the red flags and write it because then you can forget about it because we we see red flags ladies we do see it okay i know you do i know you see the red flags but sometimes we just mm, forget it <laughs> right and you just find an excuse about it or you just ignore it or maybe it was just a mistake no no, no. i want you to write it and then you write all of them all the red flags that you see all the things that you don't like and then you see all of that and you're like, hmm. And then maybe you can put his qualities on the other side and see 
what the balance is. Do not lose your time. Be ready to leave. Show self-respect to yourself. When you are ready to leave, when a woman has so much self-respect for herself and she has so much love for herself, she's ready to leave. She's not there just accepting bad type of behavior from men. A woman that has a lot of self-respect also is able to show her boundaries. And she is able to show her boundaries through her actions. That means that she acts on her boundaries. If he does this, then I will leave. If he does this, then I will distance myself from him a little bit. And the right person will respect your boundaries and the right person will not leave if you have certain boundaries and standards for yourself. It's okay to say no. Learn to say no. And they will actually respect you more for that. They respect a woman that has standards, a selective woman. It's in our DNA to be selective. Even the birds the birds are extremely selective you have no idea they're just have you seen a documentary about birds and how the female birds are so selective about the male that they are in their life be like them okay like take like really take time to watch those type of documentaries because they're so funny but the birds female birds are so picky they want the best male and they will choose the male that have the best nest that created the best nest and they're so 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 picky <laughs> they're just the funniest they're so cute on top of it so really have that mentality can you believe that a bird maybe have more standards than you so <laughs> make sure you do have those standards of just not everybody can just have access to you they have to give you love they have to give you respect they have to court you nicely correctly invite you to dinner spend time with you not playing games not trying to manipulate you not trying to pressure you into anything he should be a gentleman with you okay i want him to treat you like the princess that you are think about your future kids maybe you don't think about it but this man could be the father of your future kids you never know so be selective and also take care of yourself because when you take care of yourself and you prioritize yourself and you treat yourself like a princess he will have no choice than to treat you like a princess treat yourself like the royal queen that you are and then he will follow respect yourself and your time also you have to be the one respecting your time if you are busy you are busy okay because if you don't respect your own time why do you think that he would respect your time also ladies if he act badly in the beginning it will get worse so make sure to pay attention to that pay attention to all the red flags because in the beginning men are there to court us and they present themselves on their best behavior they are on their best behavior and they want to seduce you so if they're really acting badly on the first dates this is a red flag that means that it's not going to get better it's going to get worse actually thank you for watching my beautiful darlings i hope you liked it and i hope it was helpful for you make sure you don't accept the bare minimum because you deserve so much better than just the bare minimum nobody deserves for you to lower your standards let me know what you think in the comments down below and also follow me on my instagram and on tiktok and don't forget to subscribe to the channel until next time i'm giving you so much kisses and take care of you Mwah.